And, and Jeff, let me ask you about um, Triple G, a guy that a lot of people have different opinions on him. He's finally fighting Daniel Jacobs uh, in March in New York. Um, are you sold on Triple G, or does this fight determine if he's real? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm somewhat sold on Triple G, but I'm not really sold on him because the one thing is this: I think that he's a great fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that from him. I mean, he is a great fighter. I, I love watching him. But when I say, when I say great in terms of actually attaching that to your name, I wouldn't do that. I mean, he's great for the middleweight division, but in order to be great, every fighter that you see on a list that I consider great, mm -hmm. they didn't stop at one weight class unless they were heavyweight. They always started at a smaller weight class and moved up and proved themselves one weight class after another. And that's and that's part of that's part of being great. But when you are offered a fight with another fighter that's, you know, considered a great fighter that's only you know eight eight pounds above you and you and you don't take it, it means that you're not you're not even trying to be great. You just you just want to be middleweight champion and, and be dominant. Which is nothing wrong with that. And um, don't get me wrong, and I mean I think that the fight with him and Danny Jacobs it's a good fight, and uh, I think Danny Jacobs may even have a chance, but realistically, who have he really fought? I mean, I, I probably can't name three guys he fought, you know, and, I, and, and that's not a knock against him, because it's not his fault. It's not his fault that the type of competition to make him a great fighter isn't there. But like I said, when you want to be great, you step out your comfort zone. And that's something that he's not willing to do. You know, one guy he is willing to, he's willing to fight Canelo who would have to move up. Um, what do you think about that matchup and, and, and I think that's a great matchup, but I think at the same time the only reason he wanna fight Canelo is for the money. I ain't going to say that if he'll beat Canelo or not, but what I'm saying is that, of course, you're going to take that fight. That's just like when Floyd was a cash cow. Who, who's not going to fight him? You know, and that's, and that's the same situation with Canelo now because he's the, he's the money guy now. You know, so I mean, but I think that, you know, which is, which is I always, always play with this part because it's funny to me with Canelo, See, Canelo's young still. Yeah. I mean, this guy's young. He ain't got to be in a rush to fight Triple G. Triple G got to be in a rush to fight him. Because he don't know when the clock going to run out of him. Or Father Time going to say, wait a second. But the one thing is this, is that um, it's so funny to me is that when, um, when uh, Canelo said, hey, I'm Michigan. I'm scared of nobody here. Take this belt. <laughs> okay, you ain't scared, but you sure gave away that belt. <laughs> so you think you should have kept it? Well, I mean, the thing is this. You can't force them to fight them. Yeah. If they're two different divisions, I mean, they're, even they're two different organizations, you can't make me fight you. And I know my worth. I know my self-worth over yours. So I'll fight you whenever I want to. I just think that being that he was young and maybe his team didn't, you know, really coach him in the right way, you know, because, I mean, if he, if he felt comfortable at fighting at 60, I would have continued to fight at 60, you know, and I would have fought the same people that he beat over and over and over, and then finally, I would have made, I would have made the fight happen, and when the fight happened, I would have got paid a lot of money, you know, and, um, and don't get me wrong, and I think, and the one thing is this, is that, what, Triple G's what, 30, what? He's almost 35. Well, he's 35 years, 35 years old. I mean, if, if the fight doesn't happen within maybe a year or two, I mean, I mean, and you never know. And that might be the game plan for Canelo. I mean, and because, and, I mean, he doesn't, he, you don't have to fight him. You know, and that's the one thing, and that's the one thing that people don't understand is that fighters, certain fighters don't have to fight certain fighters if they're, you know, if they're not in the same weight class or if they're not in the same organization. Because if I mean, if I'm WBC champion and another champion is the WBA, we never got to fight. 
you know, and, and, and people don't understand that. And so, you know, fans, of course, they, they don't understand boxing in that sense. They just think that, okay, well, this guy should fight this guy. He's supposed to fight this guy. And, and just jump on somebody's bandwagon, you know, and then just root for that person and root for this person and not understand the business of it. You know, and I and like I said, I mean if I mean and, and I mean I've already been chastised for saying this, but I'll say it again. Because if Canelo is my fighter, I'm gonna maximize his earnings. I'm not gonna I'm gonna let Canelo beat every damn dude that I never heard of. And, and you know and, and cash in. You make the money. And then when he and then when he by the time he fight Triple G, if he lose to Triple G, so what? I'm rich. I'm past rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I mean I beat everybody else. I did the same thing Triple G did. All I did was just go pick out some dude nobody never heard of and knock him out. And you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. And um and Canelo, I mean, it's, and the one thing with Canelo, Canelo is, is smart too because he's not. He's starting to learn English. Mm -hmm. He's starting to actually becoming, you know, accepted, accepted by the whole world. Yeah. And that's because the one thing about the one thing about if you come from another country and most of your fights are in the U.S., I mean, you need to be speaking English yeah. to be fully accepted and exposure and, too. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean. And I mean, and then, like you said, you get all the rewards of, you know, of what you really deserve, you know. And I mean, like I said, he's, he's a young, he's still, the guy's still young. And he, I mean, he's still got a, a long career ahead of him, you know. And, and and Triple G doesn't. And so, you know, and that's basically that's basically what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a guy that can pick and choose when he wants to fight you. You can bark. You can yell. You can scream, but you can't make them fight you, no matter what.